Hey, this is Steve Braun of Halcyon Way. I'm John Bodam, and you're watching The Age of Metal. Sick John of Austin's Way. How are you guys doing? Good, man. Well, did you just promise deliver one of the best shows that I have seen so far in 2016? Seem But I saw you guys, I remember seeing you guys with Percy a couple of years back in a different setting, different stage, different songs. Uh, How has been this tour so far with four or five dates in, right? Yep. It's been awesome. Uh, the guys in Queensryche are super welcoming. They're real nice guys. Uh, we've been hanging out. They've been real accommodating. The crowds have been great. First two shows were near, nearly sold out. The second two were really strong crowds. It's been strong. It's all good. Yeah. Well, we come here in, you know, out there. The difference a little bit from two years ago. Um, how's the set list looks like? You guys kind of like putting everything together, more concentrating conquer. More, it's gonna, it's more conquer stuff. We want to have some of the, still have the, you know, for people that have known the band for a long time, we want to have one or two songs that people can, you know, be like, oh, I love that song from Bird in the Towers or whatever. But it's, I mean, it's ninety five percent conquer. So, yeah, I mean, our set list has everything from Conquer except Desecration Day right now. So, yeah, and I mean, and we could we, we did a whole album cycle and touring cycle of building the towers. So, you know, it kind of phased itself out, I guess, to an extent. But you also want to you want to have something you can remember where you came from too. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, we're definitely trying to support Conquer on this run, and because um, we haven't gotten to. Yeah, we haven't gotten. Not this is our US. first tour in the U.S., and the album came out in August of fourteen. So the only tour we've done was the uh, about a year ago in Europe. We went out for a month with Saxon and Skid Row. So that was killer. It's huge crowds. It's a great tour. Um, but we wanted to get back to the states because we had, we had worked it hard for uh, Towers and Indoctrination. All right, definitely sounds great tonight. It sounds amazing. But um, now talking about a little bit of the of the uh, reception. Mm -hmm. Queensryche has been, you know, to be doing plenty of the time, people are always a little bit older, they are a little bit more into the old guard of metal. How do you have received the proposal of Hudson's Way? I think it's been pretty solid, man. It's been solid. It's, it's been much better than almost all our other tours. Mm -hmm. I mean, and we were talking before about that, I mean, maybe with the exception of that, when we were in Bogota, Colombia, because they went nuts for us. Yeah, but, they did. but we were also playing with Arch Enemy. So that's more, we're not the same as Arch Enemy, but that's more of the, the heavy vein and stuff like that. But these guys have been really good. I, and I think that, uh, I think that Blue Jets make their crowds a little more open minded than maybe like Saxons and Skid Rose were. Yeah. Because I mean, if you've been watching somebody for 30 years, 35 years, I mean, you're probably going to just want that. And I understand, I mean... Yeah, we, we've de we definitely, I, I mean, we've done this on every tour. We definitely go out and have to earn it, because most of the time the crowd's not really hurt us because we're the support act. Um, so we just go out, we throw down, we and we try to force the crowd to like it by getting in their face and like just really interacting with them and stuff like that. We're just putting on a high energy, fun show. Um, we had to work for it a lot harder on the uh, the last Saxon tour than we have to uh, this tour, which is great. Well, that's uh, good to hear. That's pretty much uh, exciting to hear. 
you guys played last September the Mayhem Midway before Dark Power, pretty much the, the pool party for Dark Power, right. along with everything. Mm -hmm. How was that show? How that uh, impact you guys playing your own turf in the biggest progressive metal festival in the United States? Yeah, it was a cool show. It was a good show. I mean, you know, as, as you know, our music is definitely not really progressive anymore mm -hmm. so we're just you know we just went out there and we were actually like we just want to throw down and like play some of the heaviest stuff we have and <laughs> if they love it that'd be awesome but if they don't whatever we just like, <laughs> throw down and we had fun i mean because it was it was yeah it's our hometown crowd and we had a lot we definitely had a ton of supporters out there and we have a lot of people that are fans or maybe uh especially if they're on the prog platform they may be um you know hiding fans and we never say that they support us because <laughs> we're, we're not traditional frog metal, especially not anymore. But yeah, but uh, we we got it. We got a great reception. People were with us the whole time. I mean, it was one of those things like it, it could have really gone either way. <laughs> it could have. Uh, I mean, it, it helped that we we just we, we killed that night too. So I mean, yeah, I mean we've been we've been just as fans. We've been going to frog. I've been going to frog power since number four. And we've played the pre party two other times. Um, once we were booked for, once it was like a last minute fill in uh, for somebody that had their visas canceled. However, it's about time we get on the main stage. Just saying. Yeah, yeah. They played the main stage. I have not played the main stage. I deserve to play the main stage. Just saying. Let this man play the main stage. Please. <laughs> but uh, this was cool because we were booked a year out and we had time to like really, you know, kind of prepare for it and get like really dialed in, you know? Which was a cool and thing. Like that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've been wanting to play it again for years because the last time we had played it, it was in 2008, and it was about three months before our first album dropped. So we didn't have a record out at that point, and now we got four. So we were like, we got to do this again. Come on. <laughs> I mean, we had a demo, and that was it. And you know, I probably got our four. Four and then that was it. Twenty was it 2014? Like when the. We did the Level Eyes debut. At, yeah. But I mean, and, and that went over so well. Yeah. I mean, we were getting, you know, hundreds and hundreds of views a day on that thing, and uh, mm -hmm. a lot of that was because of, it was that rock that hard. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We did that. Basically, uh, in between the uh, last two bands, we did a, uh, a video, you know, world premiere on the big the big monitors there in the venue, and people went nuts. So that was, that was pretty badass. <laughs> now, uh, we come here. You know, being out two years, you guys have been hammering the album live for a while. Has been the response now that the album has seen into people? I think people, there, there's a, there's three or four songs that people really attach themselves to. And and you can tell because like, you know that 99% of these people never have, have seen us before, have never heard us before. So, and then when you... You know you got something special when when they're kind of singing or they're, they're mouthing the words or trying to sing along with you. You know they, they do that to to home. Yeah. I, I see that on home. I see that on Save Your Tears. And uh, sometimes I'm hatred is my cause. Just yeah. Because, but I mean, it's it, it's 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 humbling, but it, and it's and it's so cool at the same time because we work so hard at for every you know. Every inch we get, we, we scratch and fall and fight and bleed for it. I mean, yeah. Yeah, every inch, if, we every didn't believe, if we didn't believe in this, we would, it'd be much easier to, for me to be sitting at home having them. <laughs> I make more money doing my cover band, you know? <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> which that's, is, that's actually true. Which is terrible. And that, I Not my like, cover band isn't terrible, but it's terrible that I make more well, money. money. Okay, they're not terrible. <laughs> it's interesting. Just how it's terrible. It's not. Oh, it sucks. God, that singer. I mean, you know, overall, Conquer has gotten super good responses. I mean, the reviews on it have been crazy. Yeah, there were there were just a ton of, you know, nine and ten reviews in, in the press when it came out, and we had a few that were like, "Oh, this fucking sucks," but you know, <laughs> on Billboard. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We did the uh, Billboard Heat Seeker when it came out. That was great. We're on the. the Radio, the college radio metal charts for like a couple weeks in a row. I mean, oh, it was like six weeks. We're in the top ten. Okay, a couple more than a couple. <laughs> a couple, three couples. Okay, <laughs> so it's like <laughs> six back to six them. Sorry, six them. Six. That's going nowhere. Well, right on. <laughs>
Now, you guys last year won the uh, Georgian Music Awards as the best metal band. Two years in a row. Two yeah. years in a row. Over, I mean, when you think about Georgia, you think about bands like Baroness, Maslum, Kalesia, and Theocracy. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you feel to winning over those bands? Bro, I mean, I, I don't remember those bands that being winning, but they are like local heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that was huge because when we, when we got nominated for the award in uh, 13, we were like, yeah, there's no way we're going to win this thing. Because we got nominated for Best Video, it was for Webalize, and then we got nominated for Best Metal Band. And we were like, meh. So we show up, we're thinking, man, no way. Because we didn't know any of the, you know, we didn't know anybody, and a lot of times that stuff's um, political. And so we won it, we're like, what? <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't even there. I was actually playing. Yeah, 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 I couldn't make it. So I, they, they sent me a text, and I'm like, I'm, I like reach down, like between this, like in a solar panel, and I'm like, that was actually awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when uh, so when we got nominated again in 2014, we're like, we're definitely not going to win it because nobody has ever won it two years in a row in the same category. So we won it for 2015. Yeah, I'm sorry. 2014 and 2015. Math. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, when we got nominated in 15, we're like, yeah. But we all went and, you know, it was cool. And we uh, played. Oh, that's right. They, yeah, they had us play the award show. That was pretty cool, too. But uh, I've been playing late if we played. But like, <laughs> and the winner is Not someone true. else. <laughs> of course, if Steve Harvey would have been there, somebody else would have been there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, man, I mean, so we were like, Holy crap! We're the first band that's ever won any award in any category two years running. It was it was weird. We we're like, man. So now we're gonna be hard at work this year. Uh, trifecta. Uh, last year, around this time, you guys played a one show Bogota, Colombia, for the Rock Millennium. It was about Rock Millennium, uh, along with Terion and Alchemy. Right. For the pictures that I saw, it was kind of phenomenal. Yeah. How was playing in a different country? I, I for what I mean, say, it's the first time that he was playing in South America. Right. right. How first was the moment. response? How was the show? What do you like? Oh, it was berserk. It was amazing. Um, I mean, we, we land at the airport, and there's people coming up to us like, Steve, what's up, man? And they were like, what? And they turn to you, and they're like, do you know them? I'm like, yeah, we're like, do you know who we are? Yes, bro. <laughs> I mean, it was just funny. Yeah, we we were uh, we were really surprised by that. The promoter took great care of us. Um, and then we you know we got to the venue at a few a few hours before doors for our load in, and there's like two blocks of people waiting on the street, and it wasn't just like a line; it was like ten or twelve people wide for two blocks. And we're going, what in the hell? This is we've never seen anything like this. Um, and then the crowd just was completely berserk when we were playing. It was really super cool. And then to play with Arch Enemy, I mean. You know, they're a band we all really like, so that was a lot of fun. You know, so that was that was cool. The guys in Therion were super cool too, and you know, it's just it was a great experience. We wish we could have like tacked it onto a tour, but it, we got added to the festival a little bit late in the game, so we didn't have time to really do anything proper, but, you know, to get out there further. So are you guys working in coming back to South America at some point? I mean, Hopefully, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, how many times a day do you think I uh, bug Milton about that? <laughs> Milton was our booking agent. Probably at least three times a day. I think he's got my uh, texts muted or blocked. <laughs> Maybe there's inappropriate pictures I sent him. I just told him that he texted me and asked me how the tour was going. I was like, good. And I was like, keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, two years after Conquer, is there new music in the horizon? Are you guys Absolutely. working on it? What's going on now? We've actually, I mean, we have probably the skeletons of about 10 to 12 songs already ready. Um, you know, we got to work on getting the vocal lines, getting the getting those big hooks that we're known for. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the ideas are already going. We, we really actually we just had a discussion, I guess, about last week that said uh, it was about um, we're going to start maybe about... May. We're gonna do May's maybe start recording for the new album. So, so we'll see it by the end of this year or probably I by think next so. year. Yeah, it might be early seventeen. It just depends on how the uh, release it. Yeah, yeah. But um yeah, we plan to get back in the studio in May or June if another tour comes up first and we'll 
we'll hop on that probably. But um, yeah, I mean, um, pretty much as soon as we get home, we're gonna take a couple weeks off, and we're gonna get right into pre-production. Gotcha. Now closing up, you know, it's just January. What is next for the rest of the year? What do you guys have planned? Well, next thing is that we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the record and just see where we get with it. Cancer benefit. Oh yeah, that's right. We are we're gonna do our fourth annual medal against cancer benefit in Atlanta. Uh, it's it, what we do is we put together a big show every year, donate all the proceeds to the Atlanta Cancer Care Foundation. The foundation I'm actually on the board of directors of it, and we donate all of the money to cancer patients while they're in treatment so they can actually pay their bills. So it's like we can't pay for their treatment; it's against uh, some law, but. They can't pay their car payment, can't pay their house payment, can't pay their rent, you know, utilities, whatever. We'll stroke them a check so they can go pay that stuff while they're actually getting treated. What did we make last year? Last year was 16 grand. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, so that's that was cool. really <laughs> fucking amazing. Congratulations. So, uh, I mean, that's... This year, I'm, I'm hoping for we can double that. Yeah, uh, we're hoping so. Because, we, see, last year we had, we had, we had booked Death Angel as the headliner, and then mm -hmm. we were the, the, we were next, and then there were, I think, four other bands or something. And... Um, Death Angel's drummer, like, yeah, he, he tripped on the curb or something a week before the show broke his foot, so they had to pull out. And um, so we were like, well, the show must go on, you know, so we went ahead and made it happen and uh, went super well. And, you know, so this year, they, they, they told me, Death Angel told me, they're like, we want to come back. So if we can work in with their tour schedule or whatever, we're going to we're gonna try to have them back or, you know, some. Just, you may try some other angles, too. Yeah, maybe. That's we gotta uh, work some angles. Make, really? Yeah, we want to make it bigger and bigger. I mean, yeah. no, I mean, if we can uh, have two headliners. Overall, the whole idea is really fucking nice. I mean, that's really big kudos for you guys. That's fucking awesome. I well, mean, I mean, not I'm too many bands do that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm a cancer survivor. Um, I had lymphoma back in 2010. Um, I actually got diagnosed about a week before Building the Towers came out, and we were supposed to hit the road in Europe. Two weeks after that, to go to, we were going to go out with Stuck Mojo for a month, and we ended up having to cancel out of that tour. And you know, when I was in the chemo room or whatever, you know, you would just see these people, and they were like, just like really struggling with money. Like their job would lay them off, or you know, all the copays and prescriptions and whatever were taking up all their money. And uh, when I found out that the practice that I had been treated at, you know, had had started a separate foundation, you know, we got involved with it, and then, um, <clears throat> you know, that was kind of there. Yeah. That's yeah, sort of awesome. snowballed a little bit, which is cool. That's awesome, guys. That's but awesome. I, I just felt compelled that, I, you know, if, if I had, like, any soapbox to stand on, I needed to try yeah. to give back. And, uh, you know, so that's what we've been doing. That's fucking cool. That's really freaking awesome. Well, uh, Steve, John, thank you very much. Definitely yeah, you enjoy yeah. the show. Definitely good luck with the rest of the tour. Thank you. I'm definitely really look forward to see you guys again, probably in a bigger stage if it's possible. And probably, hopefully, in South, Amer in South America at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Milton. Milton. We could do. Here's my number. So call me, maybe. <laughs> He's like, call me, maybe not. <laughs>